Yo, what is up, we the L people? So, this is the uh, second to last week of the regular season, I think. I lost the uh, last match, so uh, uh, this match is going to be like vital for my uh, playoff uh, spot. Uh, I'm think I think I'm uh, four and two or five or two or three or two. Uh, Maybe three or three and two actually. Uh, not quite sure, but uh, I'm in a spot to take the playoffs. But I'll have to win my uh, next uh, matches to like uh, do it uh, comfortably. So this week I am facing uh, Ted and uh, his uh, what's his name name again? Sky Strikers. Uh, so yeah. He has a Celestila team, uh, which like Celestila is a tough man to go against. Uh, like my most obvious counter to it is probably Entei, uh, possibly the Rotom fan, but like Celestila gets access to Meteor Beam, which uh, does hit like quite a few of my mods. Super effective. So. Um, like uh, it's like although I have some counters to it, it's still a really good defensive mon. So, but I, I think I have okay answers to it. Like, I think like I'm more scared to like the things I haven't prepped that much uh, for. Like yeah, so like uh, Twacky, Grassy Seed, Halucha combo, which honestly could destroy me. I haven't gotten that much time to prep this week so I'm a little bit underprepared for like everything else than Celestial I think. Uh, like he has also a Manectric which uh, destroys or not destroys but uh, hinders my Rotom fan. And uh, also some other stuff like Latios is just a good mon uh, for him to have like uh, I haven't planned anything for it. Like, yeah. Other than like I can hit it super effective with uh, some of my mods so yeah, uh, so I'm hoping to turn around my like bad performance last week, like all props to my opponent, but I didn't really play my best, uh, at least game two, where I timed out and uh, uh, misremembered uh, that she had uh, already dynamaxed, so yeah, hoping to like have a clear mindset today. And uh, not get like ruined by my own place. At least, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna let Ted beat me. So yeah. So the team I'm bringing today is like it's uh, a weakness policy last year. Uh, I have not no not really any good ways of propping it like uh, other than hitting it with like. Preserve an empty, but uh, they hit pretty hard, so I'm not planning on it. Uh, I'm planning on like game one, let Ted find out about the weakness policy. Game two, let him either uh, test, like uh, hit me again or uh, ignore me. So, but like, you, can you really ignore a last year? Don't know. The Catron, it's uh, serious. This is is it ten? Can't remember. You go, Ted. So yeah, um, glass rays there just to take it, and like it can take. Although like Celestia like, can hit super effective. Uh, it's three hit KO with the max glass ray. Unless he gets like boosts or, yeah, uh, boosts or uh, like he also has no creme for like uh, decorate stuff. So like, uh, or like uh, more gram with with uh, more gram with uh, like the fake stuff. 
So yeah. Also, I think like Berserker could be good this way match, and Ente is just a regular set. But we'll uh, we'll see. Okay, I think I know how blue try is great to see. No twacky either. The size metal is here. And like the Alcremi, Celestila could be scary. Like he doesn't have like really good answers to Suicune. So I think like Suicune Perserk could do some things this match. And I do have to bring in Tay, like for the Celestial, although like Lester can hit it pretty hard with the weakness policy. So I think this is not too bad, honestly. I wonder what this like the size metal is for though. No, no like manectric lightning rod either. So like I could bring Rotom fan honestly. But we'll see. Did I get the team in on time? If it's like. Well, the um, sort of steel up front, he might, he might not have uh, gotten to lock in this thing. Let's see. Oh, he might just have like... Find out, honestly. I think that was his uh, top two months. Yeah, so he might be having size method and heat more in the back. Still feel like this is a like good move to slow him down. Uh, I do not have any speed limits in the Suicune, so I am gonna find out if this Celestila is defensive or like it's probably like somewhat offensive, but how offensive is it? I would like to get this snarl off before he goes off. Protect, okay. So fake out is wasted. But at the same time, I am faster. And I would bet he is special, but like he could also be physical, I guess. Max Quake. Is that a physical set? Max Quake might be physical. I'm gonna have to double check that. Yeah, that's physical, okay. So... Where does that leave me? Like, I could scold? Or I could... Tailwind... And get rid of this Morgrim, I think. Might be better. Because then I should be faster than the Cell Stealer. I think this will KO either way, unless it's probably a berry. Oh, I'm not sure if I did the correct uh, ability on the uh, first circle though. Okay, is, is Sash? Okay, is Sash. Not gonna survive that, but that's okay, I think.
Okay, so confirm physical. That changes things, I think. I've not done too many cards. I think scolding is like a fair play and I could like protect. So I think he does have heat more and and the other thing in the back. Like just to get my weakness policy. Can we get the burn? No burn. Okay, full play is annoying. And it does not proc my weakness balls either. So with the max airstream, two max airstream boost. I am now still faster with Sheik Quicken. But like the Glaster is obvious, obviously the... Uh, slowest thing in the field. I think Scald into Morgram and like a Max Hailstorm could possibly KO the Silsila if it procs my witness policy. I do not want like the full play. Like if it doubles targets my uh, gesture, proc my weakness policy, and then foul plays, I'm uh, finished. So that's why I had to get rid of the Morgra. Okay, it's faster. Well, that it's faster than Suicun. Did I not click Tailwind? Uh, because of the like plus one boost, I didn't take that like too well, but still I did take it. So if we can get this KO, which we will after the hail chip, or still that maybe not be affected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it does. Okay. It's possibly sandstorm that isn't uh, like uh, still that isn't affected by. It. Okay, we didn't, we didn't get the, like, the third boost though, so... Which would have been like optimal, but still okay. So he did actually turn off. I think scold into heat more and Max Max Hailstorm is my best play. If you're able to live both hits, that is. Because yes, this doesn't KO. We will not live off it. Okay. So when it's a physical, it's a physical uh, seismetal.
So the question is, are we going to like be able to beat this both this heat more and the size method? With Suicune. Oh, oh, fuck. That's... Oh, that's a... Uh, bad play by me. Assault was helping and protect, ain't I? Oh, well, that says all about my prep this week. Didn't get that much time. It's life orb. Possibly a three hit KO. Maybe a two hit KO with the hail. Does what what kind of moves does like Sasmin could get to hit me now? Definitely protecting. To, can, not sure if uh, Hail is still going on, but okay, stop the tantrum. So, it's called Might Kill, I think. Might be a roll though, and I'm not sure if uh, I or Spell Kills. So uh, we win. Game one. I just realized my computer uh, isn't plugged in. Okay. Sorry about that. Still on, okay. So, how do we deal with this though? Like now he is able to go for like the lead and ones he actually wanted. Do you think like the cluster is maybe not as good as I thought it would be? Preserker is. I think could be good though. He's definitely more physically offensive than I thought he would. I think leading Entei with Suicune, like Suicune is probably like uh, necessary to deal with like heat more and like to scold, just to scold things. You could also go like Fermosa. I think Formosa is good to have, but maybe better in the back. And bring the Perserker as like a maximum. Like, like the Perserker is Okaberry, so I can somewhat deal with the heat more, although I don't have like that many ways to hit it. And I have caught it to like outlive the size without I think I caught it for even for a life or yeah, it should be caught for life or even okay Kangashkan 
sacrifice myself. It's like the end is not in a good position right now. But I don't want to switch it out either. Think tailwind and like hoping for a burn on uh, the Kangashkan is my best play because with tailwind. Circuit can come in and do some damage. Although, if he sets the brain, he is faster than me. Helping out, so just go for Sugil. I cannot get the, the, these burns. In. Okay, and say that that's good. I think sweeping is like a tad more important. So I think like my berserker should be fast enough, or is it? Berserker is 70 speed, so it's 140, and the size method is max speed 138. If my math is correct, so I think this should be fine. Go Berserker! Helping out. And we are faster, okay. Also, this should KO. Yep. Okay, so we're actually up to a great start. Like empty going down. Devil Steel in the back could be annoying now, but I'm not too pessimistic about it. So Celestina would be the worst thing for him to for me to bring in now, like Probably the best thing he can do. Yeah, and there it is. But, like, I'm going to be able to get off some uh, max steel boost on Suicune and, like, probably burning it sometime. Okay, so we. This Kangas gun is just there to uh, do the helping, and he may be a choice even. I, uh, That one was uh, more than I would have expected. Okay, so Kanker's kind of goes down. And I just uh, I am still a spirit. Okay, so we take that comfortably because of the boost. And I think like uh, I'm going to buff like this week enough to a uh, point where we can like do anything. And with like the 
with Fermos and Sash Fermos in the back. I don't think I can lose this. Okay, protect, so that's a good protect by him. Okay, double protect, that's uh, not so good for him. Because I will still get my boosts, and I do have Okuberry. And I have one max turn left, so like this hit more is going to go down. I'll probably need to double it once more. But that's okay. At this, uh, there's no way the Silo Seal I can break this is plus 3 plus. Okay, so I don't have my uh, one more max turn. But. I don't think it matters. Because I am Okaberry, which she doesn't know yet. And I don't think the double up will do anything. Okay. Honestly, I didn't know I hit more about uh, Giga Brain and a critical hit. But I still think I'm fine. Because I think Iron Head will. I get the KO now. Yes, okay. So, Celestial against the world, and uh, like, yeah, it can't take a close combat and like deal with Sweeping at the same time. So, I think we just won. Safest play would probably be to like protect the Swicken and here just uh, cancel. Okay, I guess uh, that makes sense. Uh, I don't know who's get the KO, but I'm just gonna go with to the one I want afterwards. Well, thanks for playing, Ted. Uh, good luck the rest of the season, and uh, see you guys for the last week next week.